Hi there, Tal is here and today I'm going to explain you how to add the analytics code inside your fan page. Facebook gives you the Insight program. The Insight shows you actually the interaction of your fans on your page. It gives you demographics of your, of your fans and it lets you see what's going on with your fans on your page. But this is very limited because you can see only the demographics of your fans. The moment you start to use the Google Analytics, it's going to show you other, so other things such as the sources of your traffic, um, keyword research, uh, it's going to show you where the fans coming from, where the visitors are coming from, and it's going to all be spread out in a beautiful layout of Google Analytics, which is reports, which is beautiful maps that you can see where your visitors are coming from and what language they talk and all this and that. So let's not waste the time and let's go ahead and start the tutorial and I'll see you on the other side. The first thing you do, you're gonna go to Google Analytics homepage and you're gonna go ahead and click on add a new profile. Then you're gonna go ahead and click on add a profile for a new domain and enter the domain name that we're discussing about which is facebook.com. The next step you're going to do is click continue and you're going to reach to a page where you have a web property ID and you, all you need to do is just go ahead and copy that and now we're going to go to another website this one I'm going to put this URL under my video so you can copy paste it to yourself and then the next thing we're going to do is actually paste this code into here and keep the domain on analytics as facebook.com now we have the page link we're gonna go ahead and go to the page that we desire to put the tracking code inside in this case I have this page that I have created for kitesurfing girls and we're gonna take only the part that is after the facebook.com and the slash and here it's gonna be kitesurfing girls I'm gonna do the copy again and I'm gonna go back to this website and put it back into the page link and now I'm gonna give a page title and I'm gonna call it um, my fan page now I'm gonna click the generate code and get the code that I'm gonna use now that I got the code I'm gonna, cop I'm gonna do command A choose it all and do again the copy and take this code and go back to my Facebook fan page. In this page, you're gonna go to Edit Page and you're gonna go scroll down and you're gonna look for the FBML application. If you don't have it, then you're gonna go to the bottom and browse for more. We wanna find the FBML application and we're gonna browse for FBML. Click the Enter and this is going to be the first thing that's going to pop up the static FBML, we're going to click on that and we're going to add to page and now I'm not going to see my page here because I, my page is already already has an FBML code but if you do, you do not have it, just click add to page and then click the close and then you go back to your page now that we reach back to the page, we're going to go to the edit page again and then we're going to go to the FBML code that we have FBML application and because I already have an FBML application I'm going to go ahead and click add another FBML box as I do that I'm going to the edit and I'm going to have an option to write my FBML code inside now I'm going to go and put inside the code that I generated before and I'm going to click the save changes. Now I have code embedded inside my FBML and I'm going to go back to the kitesurfing girls and now my Google Analytics is going to be approved in within 24 hours and now I will be able to see all my statics and all my demographics inside the tracking um, Google Analytics. So I hope I helped you and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and feel free to ask me anything you want and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you for joining me.
Hey, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Feel free to subscribe to my channel to get more tips and tricks about Facebook and other social medias. And don't forget to ask me anything you want. Feel free to leave me any comment you want and I'm here to help you. So, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.